upon a time, there was a small town far from the city. In this town lived a witch whom everyone made fun of. This witch, named Fury, was so clumsy. One day, the witch Fury was preparing a potion to do her usual evil deeds. Bobby, get out of here! You will pour out this potion of unhappiness that I will deal out to the people. Witch Fury's spoiled dog was not standing still. He was running around. Bobby, enough is enough! Meanwhile, Witch Fury accidentally put too much sugar in the potion cauldron, but didn't realize it. She took the potion she filled in a small bottle and started casting spells. Let the laughter turn into tears, joys into troubles, and dreams into nightmares! <laughs> Just then, Spoiled Bobby got tangled in the witch's feet. The witch stumbled and tripped on her broom next to the table. And some of the potion in the bottle spilled onto the dog. Bobby didn't understand what happened first. Looked left and right, then turned into a giant candy. Seeing this, Fury looked at the potion bottle and her dog which had turned into a candy. The candy was bouncing around, and the witch was chasing after it anxiously. Bobby, do not go! I will fix this, wait! Ah, I said stop, wait! The candy bounced around, first popped out of the window, then fell into the pool below, and of course, melted in an instant. The witch fury looked sadly behind the melting candy. This incident spread from ear to ear among the townspeople. Those who were fed up with the witch's evils thought she deserved it. The witch living in the haunted mansion has finally been punished for her wickedness. Yeah, she won't be able to cast spells on us anymore. I think we should celebrate that. She's just a clumsy witch, and she lost her dog just because of that. From that day on, the townspeople celebrated the same day every year as Halloween. While the young girl named Millie was feeding street animals on the same day every year. <laughs> You're so playful, <laughs> little dog. Jump! Come on, jump! <laughs> a few years have passed. The Witch Fury began to devise a plan to punish those who made fun of her. That year, on Halloween, she disguised herself and wore a huge pumpkin headdress. In this way, she managed not to be recognized by anyone. I will punish all of you for making fun of me! She took the potion bottle she had prepared and went out of her mansion for the first time in years and started knocking on the doors one by one. No one recognized the witch fury. Trick or treat? Treat! When the witch heard the word candy, she sprayed the man with her potion and turned him into a giant candy. <laughs> now make fun of me! Then the witch went to the house next door. This time, a kid opened the door. Trick or treat? Treat! Here you go, treat! Witch Fury turned the kid into a candy right there. Meanwhile, Millie, who was out to feed the street animals, was very surprised to see huge candies bouncing around. Woof, woof, woof! What? What's going on here? Where are those candies coming from? Millie ran in the direction the candies were bouncing. And she saw that someone in a pumpkin costume 
was laughing at the candy that passed in front of her. Hey! Who are you? What are you doing to these people? Stop now! When the witch saw the young girl who was coming running to her, she started to run away quickly. They chased each other along the street. Finally, Millie caught this oddly disguised witch and took off her hood. She was very surprised to see that it was Witch Fury. Ah! Witch Fury! It's you! Why are you doing evil things to people again after years? You should stop now! The townspeople deserve it, Millie! While I'm sad to lose my dog, they're celebrating this day! Millie realized that the Witch Fury was very sorry for her dog and that she has actually been alone for years. I understand you, but the solution is not to hurt people. Kindness always wins. I have a great idea. Wait a minute. Millie called the little puppy next to her, who was trying to play with the bouncing candies in the square, and brought him to the witch. Here, look. How innocent is he? This beautiful creature may now want to live with you. Witch Fury was overjoyed when she saw the dog because he looked just like her old dog, Bobby. But this, he looks a lot like my dog. Oh, I can't believe it. Oh, he's so sweet. If you promise to stop doing evil to the townspeople, this puppy can live with you for a lifetime and be very happy. Woof, woof, woof. The witch's heart became softer as she loved the dog. The evil in her suddenly disappeared. I promise, this dog will now be my best friend. Thank you, young girl. The witch, with her newly adopted dog, turned all the candies that were bouncing on the street back to their old human form. She named her beloved dog Candy. Since then, Fury has gone out on the streets to do the street animals a favor every Halloween, just like Millie. And her dog, Candy, has never left her alone. One eye, two eyes, and three eyes. In a land far, far away, there was an old woman who lived with her three daughters. The eldest daughter was one-eyed. The middle daughter had three eyes. And the youngest daughter had two eyes. Their mother, the old woman, loved the oldest two the most. She would do whatever they wanted. Thank you so much, mother. The youngest daughter was always given the chores and housework even while they told her she was useless and incompetent. And they didn't even invite her to their dinner table. Mom, Two Eyes doesn't deserve to eat at this table with us because she can't do anything right. But I'm... So, the mother did not let her two-eyed daughter eat with them at the table. She was given only the leftover food after everyone left the table. Nevertheless, she kept her heart kind and helpful. One day, her one-eyed and three-eyed older sisters came to the girl with two eyes. They insulted her and threw dirty laundries on her. You didn't wash these clothes well. Watch them again. <laughs> Two Eyes left the house crying. She went to the river to wash the laundry again. <laughs> Why are my sisters treating me like this? What did I ever do to them? <laughs> 
While the two-eyed girl was weeping, a fairy appeared before her. The fairy dazzled the two-eyed girl with her shining outfit, but she kept her face hidden from her. Why are you crying, two-eyed beautiful girl? Because I'm the youngest in the house. My mother and sisters say I'm useless, and they hate me and only give me scraps from the dinner table. <laughs> oh, don't be sad, pretty girl. Look, I have a present for you. This is a magic wand. If you make a wish and wave the magic wand three times, it will come true. When the two-eyed girl made a wish, a dinner table appeared. The table was filled with delicious food. Ah, look at these dishes, all warm and fresh. Two Eyes had been hungry for days, so she started to eat from the food on the table. When you're done eating, you only need to wave the wand twice, beautiful Two-Eyed Girl. Remember, only twice. The fairy disappeared without showing her face. The Two-Eyed Girl, after having a good meal, waved the wand twice. And the table vanished. Oh, I'm finally full. I'm so happy. But I have to hide this wand from my sisters and my mother, or they will destroy me for it. The two-eyed girl returned home using the wand as a walking stick. She noticed the leftover food on the table, but she didn't eat it because she was full. Two eyes took her walking stick and went out again every day. She went to the water's edge, waved her wand, and ate as much as she wanted. But one day, when she returned home, her older sisters, One Eye and Three Eyes, noticed a change in their younger sister, Two Eyes. Why does Two Eyes smile every time she goes out and returns? And she doesn't eat the scraps we leave her. The next day, the jealous sisters followed her when Two Eyes went out. After a while, Two Eyes came to the water's edge. She made a wish and waved the wand three times. And a table full of delicious food appeared. Seeing this, the sisters were astonished. Ah, so she fills her stomach with delicious food every day. And she doesn't share it with us either. One Eye and Three Eyes ran home and told their mother what they saw. The mother could not believe what she heard. And she was very angry. Everyone hid before Two Eyes returned home. As soon as the girl entered the house, her mother came up to her and took the wand in her hand and broke it in half. No! Why did you do that? You were feasting on delicious food while we sat at home starving. No more food for you in this house. Two Eyes was so upset that she took the broken wand and went outside, crying. At that moment, the mysterious good fairy appeared before her again. Don't cry, Two-Eyed Beautiful Girl. Take the pieces of the stick and bury them under the moonlight. You will smile again. The mysterious fairy disappeared before the Two Eyes could see her face. Two Eyes went and did what the fairy said. The next day, a tree with silver leaves and golden fruit grew where she had buried the pieces of the stick. It was so majestic and bright that everyone could see it. Two Eyes' mother and sisters wanted to go to the tree and collect some fruit from it. 
But whenever the sisters reached out for the fruit, the tree branches were lifted up. Seeing this, two eyes came to them immediately. Maybe I can pick a fruit from this beautiful tree. Huh, we couldn't even get it. How will you succeed? Two eyes stretched out her arms towards the tree. Give me some fruit and some joy, tree of glitter. After the kind words, the tree bent its branches in front of the two eyes so that she could easily take the fruit. Two eyes wanted to give some of the fruit to her mother and sisters, but they were crazy with jealousy. Oh, well, I can do that. Watch. Give me some fruit and some joy, tree of glitter. Give me some fruit and some joy, tree of glitter. But the tree did not respond to what one eye and three eyes had said. How is it that this tree only obeys two eyes' orders? At that moment, a handsome knight approached, galloping on his horse. Get out of here, two eyes. Hide behind the bushes. Do not embarrass us with your selfishness. Poor two eyes obeyed and hid behind the bushes with the fruit in her arms. When the knight came near the silver-leaved and golden-fruited tree, he stared in amazement. Wow! If the owner of this magnificent tree would give me a silver branch, I would make her the happiest person in the world. We are the owners of this tree, sir. I can give you a silver branch. One eye and three eyes jumped and jumped to pluck a branch from the tree, but in vain. They couldn't even touch a leaf. You said this tree belongs to you? Then why can't you pluck even a single fruit from it? Two eyes wanted to come out and share her fruits with the knight, but she was afraid of her mother and sisters, so she stayed put and started to cry. <laughs> And then the mysterious fairy appeared again. Beautiful two-eyed girl, take the leaf of the tree and put it in your heart. Then face the night without any fear. The two-eyed girl did as the fairy told her, and her worn-out outfit turned into a bright, sparkling dress. She immediately came out of the bush where she was hiding and faced the knight with the fruit in her arms. The knight was fascinated by the beauty of two eyes, and he couldn't take his eyes off her. I can give you a silver branch with golden fruit, sir. I want to make you the happiest woman in the world, beautiful-eyed girl. Will you marry me? Two eyes immediately accepted the knight's marriage proposal, and they embraced each other. Seeing this, the jealous sisters and mother apologized to Two Eyes. We thought you were incompetent because you were younger than us. But you are pure-minded and kind-hearted. Sorry, sister. Two Eyes forgave her sisters and mother. The silver tree is now yours. You can get as many fruit as you want from it. After these beautiful words of two eyes, the mysterious fairy appeared on the top of the silver leaf tree and showed her face for the first time. Two eyes was very surprised to see that the fairy had three eyes and realized that people only need a good heart to do good, no matter how different they look. Then Two Eyes and the Knight got on a horse and rode off to eternal happiness. <laughs>